number the television critics have named it. When you hit on the TV critics, court, I've, never seen it. I've never seen it either. Oh, I actually, I, I have seen all the naked girls, <laughs> yeah. which is I get any okay. good one. You know what I get sent to me, which is funny. I get I get you know I get information from you know about reviews and stuff, and they send me the pictures of the naked girls. Actually, you know what? He's in another upcoming movie, which I saw at um, Comic Con, yeah. which with Summer Glau, who was yeah, in the, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. I think it's um, kind of Firefly. the king of badassdom. <laughs> yeah, I saw that one too, yeah. <laughs> it's just silly humor, you know. Yeah, we got supporting actress in the drama, Christine Baranski. She is from the... The Good uh, Wife. They, but she's they, also, I think she was the uh, the second lead to, um, what was it, um, um, Cheryl Shepard in that one show. Oh, was she? Yeah. They, they like Christine Baranski. Michelle though. Forbes, the, curing, you know, the, killing. the killing pilot. Christina Hendricks, Mad Men. Kelly McDonald, Boardwalk Empire. But most of these people I don't know. Actually, um, Archie Penjabi, the good wife. The, um, she's Margo, the Indian lady. Yeah. Margo Martindale from Justified. See, part of it, I mean, do you have much of an opinion see, but, on that? Archie Penjabi was the upset winner last year, but Margo Martindale is the favorite. Uh, as the basically she's an older, I was she's an older woman. Sometimes they like to go to the older matriarchs. I was surprised that Archie got it last year. Uh, she does a good job in the role, and they always like Christian Baranski. Um, I know, but they they basically Christian Baranski is basically Michelle Forbes never in a million years. Christine Hendricks either. Or Kelly McDonald. You don't think Christine Hendricks because they like Mad Men. No, they like Mad Men, but no, but it would be Baranski is. Brasky is a very likable person. She's, you know, bubbly, and she basically is a good campaigner for herself. Okay, so you favor Kabronsky? I would favor that, but they said that it looks like it's going to be Margot Martindale because they like women to play strong, really strong women. This is brilliant. This is a mean little SOB, too. Mm -hmm. Women don't really get to play really. I mean, they used to be like Joe Van Fleet. Um, uh, Joe Van Fleet. Uh, and um, uh, what's the name? Uh, uh, Crawford. Yeah, I know Crawford type characters where they were really mean patriots, patriots. Mm -hmm. So, but we got leading actor comedy, which is we know who this is supposed to go to. Okay, lead actor for comedy, Alec Baldwin for Thirty Rock. Yes, which is Steve Carell for The Office. They're supposed to give it that one because they submitted the. Uh, the they have to. Here's the trick: is about the Emmys. They submit their own own videos. Uh, we'll give you a thing about one year Tim Allen was left off the list for best best actor for How? comedy. He forgot to submit himself. He forgot and he missed the time and and then and, and the other you know his the woman playing his wife got a nomination. He didn't get a nomination because it's required that you submit yourself, which is funny. Oh interesting. you have to be an Academy member to submit. And the production company may not be Academy members. You know, so. well, part of it is is on the off. Oh, actually, we didn't even name the rest of the people. Louis C.K. Uh, from Louis, Johnny Galecki from The Big Bang. We're, we're Theory. talking Johnny Galecki was on the uh, was on the uh, the uh, Roseanne Barr show. Okay, Matt LeBlanc from Episodes and Jim Parsons from The Big Bang Theory. Ooh. Actually, Jim Parsons is pretty funny. We're talking Galecki, LeBlanc, and Parsons. But you know what? I, I think. Um, Dirty Rock has been a favorite, but Steve Carell, this was his last year on The Office, even though he's been nominated. He uh, hasn't won. He hasn't won. Done, and they give it to Baldwin all the time. Okay, I'm yeah. going to put it, Baldwin has been winning Emmys because he's politically correct. He's anti-Republican. But, but this year, I think Carell might win it only because this is his last year on The Office. He's been nominated. And they're trying to tell and him. And he, he lost five times. He's lost five straight. I mean, so, it, it's, just, uh, it's just like when... Um, uh, you know, uh, when the guy who played Barney Fife was winning all those times in a row, or when, you know, uh, John Letter Kett continually won, they stopped, you know, our, 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 um, every time Bill Cosby would submit, he'd win. So you run, you know, so, you just stop winning. So part of it is, you know, we'll tell you, is we have not seen the specific episodes they submitted because part no, of it, I've seen some I don't of pay that much attention to what got, the episode names are either. Yeah, but, but you, um, know, you understand that how much they like them or don't like them. Yeah, but I'm saying I'm just simply figuring though that um, that it is it's Carl's year. It doesn't Steve make Carell? it yeah. doesn't make any difference what the critics say. They owe him. 
Yeah. For five, and he's not going to... He's And this is last year. He's not going to so. come back to TV. Actually, here's the big thing. It looks like he's planning another TV series for next year. Which is funny. He dropped this one because he didn't want to do TV. Because he has no movie career, folks. His movies don't make any money. Yeah, but he's been in a lot of movies. But they don't make any money. So ever since, what, the 40-year-old version? The, the, the first down. movie he did, Squeak by at $100 million, cost nothing to make. But his movies... Well, actually, Maxwell Smart made money, but they could never get together and make another one, so... But we got lead actress in a comedy series, which is Edie, Edie Falco. Falco for Nurse Jackie. And Tina Fey, 30 Rock. Laura Lindley, the big C is not a comedy, no matter what they call yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know how they got that as a comedy. You know, Melissa McCarthy, Mike and Molly. Uh, Martha Plimpton, which is George Plimpton's daughter, for Raising Hope. Raising Hope and Emmy Poehler for Parks and Recreations. Um, basically, they're all looking at uh, Laura Lindley. Thanks to the. Basically, they're basically doing it on the first episode. Oh, here's a good one. Mm -hmm. What was in the first episode that wasn't a lot seen in the other episodes? Say that again. What was in the first episode that was not seen a lot of in the other episodes? Her. A lot of her. Uh huh. A lot of overweight her. Uh. And she's. You know, so that's not been seen a lot of since then. But they, she's a three-time Emmy winner. She's also an Academy Award nominee, and she's basically. Um, well, doing she's she's probably a shoe in for. Part of it is they do like Tina Fey. Um, but Tina Fey is basically they, they like, like Edie Falco. Edie Falco, that's not a comedy either. <laughs> Nurse Jackie is a melodrama. <laughs> well, just like what the big C is a comedy. Uh huh. Uh, yeah, yeah right. it's a damn small thing, but. Um, uh, supporting actor comedy, Ty Burrell. Actually, this is all about Modern Family. What? Ty Burrell from Modern Family, Chris Col uh, Colfer from Glee, yeah. John Quire from Two and a Half Men, Jesse Tyler Ferguson, Modern Family, Ed O'Neill, Modern Family, Eric Stone Street, and Modern Family. They said, well, it should be Coffer or Cryer because the others spread it up. They don't like Cryer. And they really, the Glee is fell off. Glee is no longer politically correct. It's well, but they don't like the competition amongst the mates. Although you know they do like Ed O'Neill. I know. They do like the other but see, the trick is Ed O'Neill stepped backwards because he felt that it wouldn't be right. Ed O'Neill, it, it's um, okay. He's had a good long. He career. should have got an Emmy for. He should have picked up his Emmy for playing on uh, West Wing. Yeah, he should have. He should have been got. He should have been given his Emmy for that because that was Ed O'Neill. I mean, this is a guy that's a great big football player. It's basically heavy comedy. I know. You know, he thought he was stepping away from this. It's like, but they came to him with this character, and he could not resist. Well, because it got basically he's playing the same character. <laughs> I know, like. <laughs> well, I mean, like, I, I, okay, we were at D twenty three when they're talking about the they're 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 showing the episode where he's you know where the wife Sophia is telling him. You know, I, I, my first, you know, you know how my first husband died, and he said, no. He said, well, we'd been making sex for three straight days, and he died of a stroke. And then and he said, oh my. And he said, uh, and then you know how my second husband died? Well, we'd been having sex for seven days straight, and he took something to get himself up, and it killed him. And he said, oh my lord. <laughs> and then she's looking, and then said, uh, see, she, you're number three. Yeah, and then, oh my God. Yeah. He's like, I'm looking forward to that one. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's, he's, he's backing away, and at the same time, you know, like O'Neill said, he's, I'm backing away, but look at, uh, he said, you know, uh, look at, you know, Bundy with that twinkle in his eye. Oh my God, to go with seven days, oh, three days, seven days, oh my God. <laughs> well, you know, do you think, like, John Cryer, with everything that's happened with Charlie Sheen, do you think they would just give it to him? Yeah, basically, do no, it doesn't have no. prayer because he basically. They, but what happened is, um, they asked, they okay, they got, um, you know, they got the gentleman for uh, basically one third of what they were paying, um, you know, Charlie Sheen. Mm -hmm. That was what it was all about. They wanted to cut production cost and figured, well, we'll sell the first seven years with Charlie in it and people won't pay any attention. We'll get another two years out of it, and then we have 200 episodes, and people won't pay any attention. We buy two, we pay another, we, yeah, get, we, we get another 40 episodes for virtually nothing compared yeah. to Charlie. They'll notice. They'll notice. Because they'll vary. What happens is, is um, uh, I mean, I can remember, um, 
I did things. I did like Bonanza, and then uh, when what happened was when um, uh, they stood the loss of Adam because they had a lot of guys they could bring in because it just meant they used a safe storage with less people. But they couldn't handle the loss of um, Dan Blocker. And what happened is all of those episodes are never seen. Oh, really? They just stopped the run of the show. It's the same thing as on, uh, look on, this, on the, um, the, uh, the Encore. They stopped the run of shows of Wagon Train right at the episode that, uh, that they changed over uh, when Ward Bond died of a heart attack. Yeah, but they can't do that with Two and a Half Men. He was in the whole series. I know, but no, but they'll do that with Adams and Crusher. They will simply not, that this, the, these episodes have no value. Oh. They will not pay because they're not going to run them. It's just the network is in a fond hope in the studio that they're going to pick these up and it won't make any difference because we'll sell the 200 because Charlie is there for the first 106, 170. Mm -hmm. No, they won't. Unless they, people really like Ashton Kutcher. They, okay. Although, uh, after the TCAs, they did not like, I mean, they, they did not like what they're talking about, his proposed role. They do all. not. A guy's a billionaire living in that house. Yeah. Yeah, right. He's a billionaire, and he's a hunk. And he's a heartbroken billionaire. Yeah, and he moves in, you know. they Basically, it went... I mean, we're talking. We're talking about. They they panned it so much that his role may be. Pretty they good. panned it so much they have panned the opening episode. I mean, they got. I heard Cryer apologizing last night. Oh God. He said that TMZ got it wrong. The TCA got it wrong. This did not happen. Well, yes, it did happen that way. Well, now what is it? Comedy is it Comedy Central is doing a roast on Charlie Sheen that's running opposite. Yeah. Which means they're going to kill the opening episode because they they do not do that. They don't put their shows on deliberately opposite.